Judge Judy's court officer Petrie Hawkins Bird's been s part of the iconic reality show since 1996, making him the longest-serving TV bailiff of all time. The officer, who's a Brooklyn native, started his journey on the show when the series debuted in the mid-90s. At the time, he was 38 years old, and already had experience as a New York State court officer. Bird assisted Judge Judy Shadlin throughout all the cases on the show. His on-air jobs included providing instructions to the courtroom audience, helping to escort individuals, and supporting Judge Judy as she tried to maintain decorum. Bird served for over 25 years as a court bailiff on Judge Judy. Throughout that time, he witnessed some of the most dramatic cases, and helped Judy as much as he could. The 65-year-old man remained a part of the show, even during the COVID-19 era. At the time, the show changed its format to be safer, and Judy did her job via live internet link. Similarly, Bird attended the court from the Los Angeles studio, and couldn't do his usual tasks. Despite that, he remained with the show until it ended in 2021. Bird didn't return to Judy's spin-off, Judy Justice. 10. He's a college grad Judge Judy Star Bird has achieved many things in his lifetime thanks to his strong educational background. He graduated from John Jay College of Criminal Justice and received a Bachelor of Science degree in Criminal Justice in 1989. During that time, he did a variety of court officer jobs. From the Manhattan family court system to the Brooklyn family court system, Bird's early life was filled with accomplishments. He also served as a special deputy U.S. Marshal in the early 90s, before he eventually joined the show in 1996. 9. He isn't a part of Judy Justice Judge Judy concluded when its final season aired on TV in July 2021. Soon after, Judy returned to screens with her new Amazon show, Judy Justice. Unfortunately, Bird didn't return to the show as the court bailiff. He was replaced by fellow officer, Kevin Roscoe. While fans were initially unhappy to hear the news, they soon learned that there were no issues between the judge and her longtime friend, Bird. Instead, the iconic officer returns to the screens on Judith's new spin-off show, Tribunal Justice, in 2023. 8. He met Judge Judy Scheindlin in Brooklyn Bird and Judith's friendship goes way back, and predates Judge Judy's debut on TV. The two first interacted when Bird started working within the Manhattan family court system in 1986. Since the young officer worked with various judges then, he befriended many of them, including Judith. Ten years later, Bird learned about Judy's new show, and congratulated her with a letter. In it, he playfully talked about serving as her court officer again, which led to good luck for him. Judge Judy soon offered him a job, and welcomed him to the show. 7. He's a Sagittarius Bird was born in November 1957, and was named Petri Adonis Bird, and he's a Sagittarius. According to the horoscope, Sagittarians are often outgoing, likable, and energetic. These characteristics fit Bird well, as he was charismatic and helpful on Judge Judy. The website also states that Sagittarius natives are flexible, action-oriented, and good at solving problems. These qualities do fit Bird's personality as a whole, as he was able to please a demanding judge for years. People born under the sign of Sagittarius are compatible with Libras, and Judge Judy, born in October 1942, is a Libra. 
Six Bird is an actor-comedian while Bird is most known for being a TV show court bailiff. There's more to learn about him. He's hones his other talents over the years. He's an actor, voice artist, and writer. Bird's appeared on various shows, and has also been in independent films. Credits include Reezy's Pieces, American Skin, Under the Palm Tree, and more. He's also been seen on talk shows, such as The Doctors. Between 2021 and 2022, Bird joined the cast of Disney's revival of The Proud Family, and landed a voice acting role. 5. He used to be a student counselor besides his TV gigs. Bird also had a brief yet notable career as a student counselor. In the early 90s, he moved to Cupertino, California, and got a job at Monta Vista High School. There, he started working as a counselor, and remained in that position until he was hired for the show in 1996. While there isn't a lot of information about Bird's journey as a student counselor available at this time, he did work at that job for years. Bird may have done some moonlighting as a pizza delivery man while employed as a counselor. 4. Bird is active on Instagram while Bird comes from an era before social media. He's kept himself up to date with modern trends. He's active on Instagram, and uses the platform to share special moments with fans. Bird has over 32k followers, and nearly 750 posts. He likes to upload news and short clips. The Brooklyn man also enjoys sharing family moments with fans, and seems very happy and active. Bird enjoys dressing up for events, and looks stylish while performing an array of activities. 3. He hasn't tweeted for years, but has a Twitter account while Bird is active on Instagram, and has a verified profile. He's surprisingly absent from posting on other social media platforms. The officer has a Twitter profile with over 10,000 followers, which he hasn't used since 2018. Birds tweeted over 2,000 times since he joined Twitter in 2011. However, he seemingly left it a few years ago, and hasn't returned. Bird hasn't acknowledged why he has suddenly disappeared from Twitter. Perhaps he prefers Instagram. 2. He's a philanthropist and activist Bird has worked hard to become successful. As such, he likes to support those who are less fortunate, and enjoys philanthropic activities. The TV show Bailiff's a guest speaker who supports charities. He's also a community activist who loves improving the daily lives of young people. Bird's official Linktree page has a cancer awareness donation link on top, which leads to a charity named Survivor's Ball. He's also been involved with other nonprofit organizations, such as Teach Them to Fish. One, he's a proud father like most cases on Judge Judy, Bird's personal life has also been drama filled. He married a woman named Felicia Hawkins in 1980. However, the two has problems, and the split up after 10 years together. Bird and Felicia maintained an on-again off-again relationship, which led them to have four kids throughout their relationship. However, they were unable to fully solve their problems. Bird later married a colleague, Makita Bond, in 2019. Makita and the Judge Judy alum have an age gap of a decade. They remain together, and seem to be going strong. Sources. Judge Judy, The Horoscope, Petrie Hawkins Bird, Instagram, Petrie Hawkins Bird, Twitter, Petrie Hawkins Bird, Linktree, Petrie Hawkins Bird, Instagram.